All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna do front brake pads on the Audi Q7. It's 2015 model. The pads are pretty much pretty low. Uh, you can see from there. The main reason I'm doing it, the rotors and pads, because it was vibrating. And a lot of vibration in the steering wheel. So I'm just going to replace the rotors and pads. So I already took out this nut here, which is a 13 millimeter socket. And now I'm going to push the pin out, this pin. Once I have that out, this uh, will come out. I already squeezed the pad, uh, the uh, pistons back on both ends, so this is pretty loose right now. These um, these pads. So once I have this pin out, then uh, I'll have these uh, uh, pads removed, and I'll put them in, and I'll show you when I'm doing. So here's a little trick to uh, get this pin out it gives you a hard time because this spring is popping out so what you need to do you need to have a long screwdriver hold it down with a little force to release that pin out and once you have that you should be able to get this out so I'm just gonna go hold with both hands. I don't have a, another person to hold the camera for me. I'm just gonna squeeze it down and pull the pin out. All right, now the, um, the caliper, I need to move that out of the way because uh, I'm changing the rotors. So um, to do that, um, I have used a 7 8 uh, socket right there and these two one here and one here remove these two to uh, get the um, get this piece loose once I have this loose then I'm gonna remove this bolt right here this is a retainer nut so I'm gonna remove that and then I'm have the uh, rotor out put the new one in and go from there so guys I uh, just wanted to make sure you know that it's important to have a um, secondary jack uh, the wheels of the back both wheels are secured with the wheel blockers and this is just my homemade uh, secondary jack stand in the event it falls it should sit on top of it and the all other wheels are blocked um, so so let's do the matching ceremony of the pads looks like uh, they look about the same let's do the rotors they are 13.78 uh, inches on the rotors so I haven't disconnected the brake line or anything just there's enough play in it you could do that once twice it's not gonna break the line but if you do that too many times I might as well get ready to change the brake line well I'm just gonna put the uh, rotor and so I have these 7 8 bolts which is like 21 millimeter they're both torqued properly and see those uh, pins in there 
the dowel pins or the studs whatever you want to call it they need to have proper lubrication because those are the sliding points any sliding points on this uh, these pads they must be uh, lubricated with the anti-seize uh, brake grease this is a Mercedes uh, brake pad grease um, but you don't have to use that you could use whatever you have there's other ones out there there's other ones out there you could get the CRC has their version of it I'm a Retex uh, Master Tech from Mercedes so I have a lot of parts uh, access I can buy them at a little discount price I'm going to do is put a little bit a little dab of lubricant right there the brake grease same thing here on this side and same way on this side so you don't want too much in there because uh, you don't want the uh, grease to go on the rotors and also when you put this uh, clip back in make sure you put a little bit of uh, grease on each end of it right at this point all right guys a few things to check make sure that your 13 millimeter bolt is torqued to proper specifications and these two bolts have been torqued to the proper specifications these are free floating points here and here make sure the pin is in properly and it's movable if you press it you should be able to move it a little bit and the retainer bolt it's fully tight and I'm gonna put the wheel on and go from there and then I'm gonna do the other side same thing thanks for watching please subscribe I appreciate it it's all right it's not that bad on a big truck what you can do you can have a pry bar under the tire which lifts the tire up a little bit all right guys uh, same thing on this side uh, as I did on the other side is a 13 millimeter uh, bolt that will come out and then I'll knock it out with this little socket uh, this pin will come out so before you do that you want to make sure you wake up the pin meaning that you tap on it a little bit and same thing on this side this breaks the uh, rust a little bit and once you have these out then you're going to take the pads out you're going to carefully remove the uh, the uh, brake uh, sensors and you remove the pads squeeze the uh, the pistons back and then you're gonna take out these two 21 millimeter or they are 7 eighths um, remove that move the caliper just a little bit and then once you remove this bolt then you can uh, th this has to be banged up pretty good uh, with a hammer to um, to break it loose it it's hard to get it out so uh, just uh, don't don't worry about it and you once you once you have this thing out away from it then uh, once you have this out then you're gonna try to take it take the rotor out you're gonna have uh, you, you'll feel that oh it's stuck in there they're all stuck because of the rust so what do you do you tap on this side here and tap it pretty hard that will break the rust once it's broken down then you you can slide it out i'll show you when i'm done nothing uh, special on this side 
same as the other side. 